gonna walk you through a full upper body power and strength training session for elite level baseball athletes. Let's get into it. All right guys, so for today's session, we are in our second phase of training. This is gonna be our eccentric. We've progressed from our isometric phase into this next block where we're really focused on that eccentric portion of the movement. Now, when it comes to our ballistic power and our med ball work that we usually do, what you're gonna to start to see is we're not so much isolating, we're actually going through some of our progressions today. So first and foremost, we always start off with isolating the trunk and just that rotational exercise. So you're gonna see the athletes perform some of these throws from a seated position where we're really focused on isolating that trunk. From there, we then progress to half kneeling, and half kneeling just allows us to get the hip involved. So you're gonna see them perform a lot of those similar exercises from that half kneeling or kneeling position. From there, our next progression is getting the athletes on their feet. Now we're actually working on generating force through the ground, in through our hip, and then basically rotating through, whether that be a soccer toss generating from the ground or some kind of shot toss. So as you can see here, I'm a big fan of working that soccer and those shot tosses for overall throwing ability and exit velocity when an athlete is hitting or a baseball athlete is hitting. And from there, we basically went into our slam series, which we basically use a med ball. And we went through our flexion and lateral flexion movements and progressed them on up onto their feet. After that, we got straight into our strength movements. So getting into our strength, we kicked off with our primary push and corrective. And for today's session, we did a single arm Larson press. Now, the reason why I love the Larson variation is it's just a small wrinkle into that horizontal push. Last phase, they performed a single arm bench press. This phase, we kicked the legs up on the bench so they didn't have that stability and drive through the lower body. That paired with a single arm push really integrates the trunk and forces that athlete to stabilize. We paired that with a incline rear delt raise with external rotation to kind of support that upper back as the corrective. Then from there, we got into our auxiliaries. For our auxiliaries, for our first push pull, we've definitely added a couple more wrinkles into our vertical push and our horizontal pull. We performed a kettlebell corkscrew row. The reason why I love this is because the athlete is protracting the scap by internally rotating. And then when they externally rotate, they get that, first of all, they get that greater stretch, then they get a greater contraction as they externally rotate. From there, we did a Z press, which is essentially isolating that trunk. It's just a seated overhead press. But if you ever perform these, you know that it takes a great deal of stability within the trunk to be able to support and push that weight overhead. From there to finish it off, we did a real basic arm flexion, arm extension circuit paired with our trunk. So these guys went through some basic cable curls. We did a lot of volume here. I love to work hypertrophy with our baseball athletes throughout the entire off season. We did some band push-ups, which I really love because it really works that lockout. I had the athletes right underneath their shoulders and really focus on the lockout. So we're really targeting the tricep, just accommodating resistance as that band gets stretched, the tension goes, the resistance goes up. And then finally, we finished off with the ab wheel, working that flexion for this particular workout. So there you guys have it. Just wanted to kind of walk you through where these guys are at. You know, a lot of times that like, you guys see the beginning result, the end result, but now I wanna be able to show you and walk you through those sessions uh, a little bit more intimately so you could see exactly the wrinkles that we're adding in and the progressions we're adding in week by week so that you can see their progress. So I hope that helps. If you guys are interested in a full baseball program, go ahead and check out the link down below. I'll see you guys next time.